Hey gang, so this is the bird's eye view of our new station. What I want you to note is that this blue box is where they want us to be parking our vans currently, but up at the top right is where the gravel lot is. So this road at the bottom of the screen here is Peoria. So you, we've all taken that road. In fact, it's heading. if you were heading to the left of the screen right now, that would be heading south, and E470 is you know out, just out of the picture there. So this blue box is where they want us to park. Up, but what I want you to do is make that first right here at the bottom right of the screen and then go past the north end of the building and then into the gravel lot. That's where we'll park. That's where we're going to keep our vans for a little while. And that's where you'll park your vehicles. So that's good to know. Um, the front of the building that you can, the, well, the, let's call it the east side of the building where this little red star is, is where we're going to load in and out. So I'm going to show you this in video, but I just wanted to give you a bird's eye view of where this is and how, how everything looks. So you can see on the west side, the dirt spot at the very top of the screen, that's all going to be parking spaces for everybody here shortly. But unfortunately, that's not that's probably like six weeks out. So just know that there will be spaces for us to park in this gravel lot. Hopefully won't be a thing for much longer, but we just have to put up with it for a little while. So again, bottom the bottom the road at the bottom of the screen is Peoria. This first turn here on the right side of the screen uh, to get into the station is the one that we'll be using most of the time. Um, above the blue box, you see a little red star between the blue box and the building. Uh, the second turn, so the one to the left it, next to the star, is where we would bring our vans in. And then the turn to the right of that is the way you get out. And I'm going to show you that in video here in just a second. Uh, but ultimately, this is the bird's eye view. We're going to jump right into the rest of this video uh, I apologize it's a little bit long, but I just wanted to make sure that I covered everything, so here we go. All right, gang, so what you're looking at is the building, right? So I just turned in off of Peoria, which is back there, and now I'm pulling up the driveway. So vans, if you're in a van, you would make a left here and go up towards that way. If you're in your personal vehicle, you're going to go up this way, and this way is what they call the gravel lot. So this is the back of the building, which ultimately is going to have all of this empty All of that empty space will now be parking spaces for us to use at some point. But in the meantime, you have to turn in over here, and that's across from the construction area to the gravel lot. So we haven't figured out where we're staging our vans just yet, but ultimately it's us and every other DSP and most, if not all, of their vans. So our parking situation is going to be interesting. So what I'm thinking is we keep our vans on the back portion over here, maybe in the back corner, and we'll have our crate moved over here, or maybe even down there, except this guy randomly took up all this space with that stupid trailer, so who knows. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we'll come over here and we'll park our vehicles over here. We're actually gonna keep all of our vans over here for right now. Uh, and then we'll drive our vans over. This lot is super loose gravel, so be ready for that. All right, so that's the gravel lot. Let's go back to the front of the building. All right, so this is, if you know your direction in Colorado pretty well, the mountains are that way. So that's the west side of the building. The west side of the building is the side that's still under construction, as you can see. So don't try to do anything on the west side. Got it? So that means this side of the building, which is where all the trucks would come in and load, is, and trucks, not vans. I don't mean us. I mean like whenever the loads come in at night, that's all gonna happen on the north side of the building. So we're heading over to the north side now. So obviously that's not us, right? That's all. 18 wheeler load in stuff on the north side but if you see that side of the building that's the north side just to give you your bearings right so if we were driving our vans back down here from the gravel lot we would make a right here so I'm gonna make a right as you can see there's already some people's van staged we have spots available in this lot where we can park our vans the problem is if we go there right now then you have to park in the gravel lot and then walk your booty all the way down here to get to your van, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You'll see there's two entrances here, one here and then one up there. Never go in this side. You see the backward stop? 
Don't ever go in that way. That's the exit only for the vans during loadout. So what they would want us to do, and actually we have all of these spaces right here, all the way across, plus some there, and of like four on the second row back or the third row back there. So here's the way this is gonna work. So imagine our vans are here, right? Up here, they would want us always to go out to the north side of the lot, so everybody would have to exit this way. Okay, so you'd come to this stop sign here. Of course, everybody with Netrodyne is going to have to do the three second stop at every one of these stop signs. Then you'll come out here, stop at this stop sign as well, three seconds. It's gonna take us forever to get over here. Then you go straight across the street. Do not go in there, go straight across the street. This is the van staging area. You'll see that as we drive up on these, there's 16 spaces in each one of these gaps. So, starting from the, there's three of these blocks of 16. The first one is the red block, this is the white block, and now there's a blue block. So if you may, you may get a card for your wave card that is blue instead of red or white. So that'll be a completely separate card. So that'll tell you where you're going and then we'll, we'll tell you exactly where you're supposed to be within these blocks. And then we'll stage here and when it's our turn to go in and pick up our route, we will then all turn right here. You see the Amazon delivery sign. You'll go under the awning and see that those same three blocks of 16 now exist under the awning as well. So it'll go red at the end, white in the middle, and blue at the back. So depending on which card you're at, that's where you'll pull up. And you'll stay in the same order that you were out there over here, right? And you'll just do the same thing here. Now, so when we come into stage, again, that's red. This is the white block, and then that's blue back there. The thing to remember about the blue block, which is the last one, is that our desk is directly behind those two doors. So whether it when you RTS, those last two doors back there are where you're gonna wanna pull your van up to so that you can come in and RTS. Um, so that's pretty sweet, right? Because we're literally right there. So anyway, so that's the way this works. When they let us out, everybody will go out that way, make a left and go down to the light down here and then exit probably towards the south and make a right on Peoria. So that's pretty easy. Okay, so right now, this is the only door that's open, so that's the way I'm gonna take you in. But don't forget, our door is between those very first two bay doors on the blue block. So the very first one when you come in, those first two doors that you pass, that's kind of like a straight shot to our desk. So I'm gonna take you in the only open door right now. You're gonna get the sneak peek. Ultimately, when you come in, all of this area on this side and obviously on this side is where everything will be staged. So you wanna make sure that when you pull in, they will make sure that based on where you park your van, all you'll have to do is walk straight in off the pad and be really close to where your, your packages are staged so it's not a huge process of how to get to your stuff. Should be pretty easy. They'll guide us all through it on Wednesday. So, they've even got like overhead sorting rollers and crazy stuff now so this place is pretty cool um, so south side of the building remember if you ever get lost in here always look for these little blue triangles and look for the ones that say DSP area and you'll find us so again door 402 and that door 401 401 is the easiest, obviously. If you can pull up right in front of 401 to RTS, that's great. Because right across from 401 is two desks, and one of them is ours. So that's 401, and this is us. So check the tape on the floor. It says Bison in front of these two desks. They'll have more obvious signage here for us shortly, but for the, in the meantime, this is where we're at. So this is where you'll come meet Duck to RTS. How are you, bud? Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is your RTS desk. This is dispatch right here, these two desks. Um, you'll probably be at this desk right here talking to Duck or whoever's closing that day. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. It's really clean in here. 
It's huge. I need you all to do me a favor though and be really careful. See that guy right there? That's Johnny. Johnny's the boss, he runs the station. You all can't come in here screwing around and doing all whatever because we are right next to the RTS team. So you all need to make sure that you're minding your P's and Q's when you come into RTS. Get in, get out. Don't spend a lot of time in here. What else is cool is directly next to our desk is the break room. And right in the middle of the room back there is a bathroom. So if you need to use those, awesome. There's also two bathrooms on the opposite ends. I'm gonna take you on a sneak peek of the break room real quick. So the new break room is cool because A, multiple microwave stations. Each one is labeled, like over there in the corner, those microwaves are vegan only. Those over there are gluten-free only. These are halal only and there's also kosher. So if you just don't care, use the ones on the south side. Uh, or excuse me, on the east side. Um, they also have ice machines. And then they have this section full of awesomeness. Uh, I am supposed to warn you that this is under heavy surveillance. They have an entire team of people that just watch this section. So don't try to take anything without paying for it. Make sure you pay for it. But the selection is pretty amazing. Social distancing is still a thing at the station, so nobody can sit together. Um, even our guys at the desk, we can only have one person sitting behind each desk. So um, that definitely limits things for us a little bit, but we can handle this. You just gotta come in, do the same as you always would. Get in, get out. Now, because we're gonna lose the porta potties and all that stuff, what I recommend you do is if you need to get here early, get in here and you know get yourself a snack and go to the bathroom and then go ahead and park in the in the gravel lot where you should park when you come to visit this place like if you need to use the restroom before a shift or whatever i would say try to find an empty spot on the north side of the building come in through security run to the bathroom and then pull out and go back over to the gravel lot to you know start your day um I can't have somebody going, ooh, I need to go to the bathroom, and you not showing up early enough to get that done. So if that's something that you need to do, you need to get here 15 minutes earlier than 9.30, come in and get that done real quick, and be at the yard by nine, be at the gravel lot by 9.30. I'm not gonna have people like, oh, at loadout, I'll just run inside real quick. It is still unacceptable to do that. Please do not do that, any of you. You just can't have it just is what it is so if you if you have to use the bathroom and you didn't get it done before your shift started you have to wait till after loadout and get off the property and go to wherever you can go to find the bathroom for the first time it's an Amazon rule it's not my thing I don't have anything I can do about it so you can't screw it up if you hold up the pack because you went inside to go to the bathroom you will get written up it's just period that's all there is to it um, so that's pretty much the station guys it's quick it's easy um, again Getting to the gravel lot is obviously annoying and it's super, it's far enough from the station that it's an annoying walk, so I apologize for that, but we'll get it figured out. This is temporary. Once these lots are, once the other lot is complete, which is probably five weeks from now, um, everything will be a lot smoother. But for now, we just gotta put up with this for a short period of time. So make sure you use the bathroom before you come to work if you're worried about that stuff because it just is what it is. Um, our crate will be at the gravel lot, so that's where everybody will meet and pick up snacks and we'll do a quick stand-up meeting and all that stuff before we've got to head over here. We'll give you your staging assignments as far as where your vans go. We'll make it pretty easy for you. Just do us a favor and make sure you're following all the rules. Make sure you watch this video. Um, and yeah, that should do it. It should be nice. This is going to be a nice place. It'll be nice to have this awning above our heads while we do loadout. It's just gonna be a cool little scenario. There won't be time to screw around for a little while, I'm not gonna lie to you. So um, bring everything you need, we'll get you your snacks and your drinks, and then be ready to just be on it. Quick scan of your van, quick pictures to get, if you have to like report damage, and then boom, we're out of there. So don't be screwing around and like poking around your van and doing weird stuff. We need you to just be on it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. You're allowed to hit me up directly if you need to, otherwise, 
uh, you know, Andrew and Duck and, and Leo and all those guys. Sheena, of course, when she's around, uh, everybody can help you out. But um, we're going to try to have as many people here as possible to help with this process for the first couple of days. And uh, we'll get it figured out, guys. It'll be fine. Call me if you need anything. We'll talk to you soon. Love you.